Who is the most adored man in Egypt these days? Ask around and many will tell you the general, Abdul Fattah al-Sisi, the head of Egypt's armed forces. The Sisi, bottom. Sisi is a hero, says Mohammed. He's a man of respect, says Hassan, a military man. I love him, says Mahmoud. If he could be my father, that would be great. Not every Egyptian is enamored with Sisi. Some call him a traitor for toppling a democratically elected president. But for many, Sisi has gone from relative unknown to a national hero who has put the army back into Egyptian politics. It was Sisi who announced the ouster of former President Mohamed Morsi, sparking wild celebrations among millions who wanted Morsi gone. It was Sisi who oversaw the appointment of Egypt's interim leaders. And this week, it was Sisi who called for mass demonstrations in support of the armed forces, setting off more applause for the Egyptian military. Indeed, there's a lot of praise these days for General Sisi and the military, but many rights groups and analysts say that's not exactly cause for celebration. That's reason to worry. One has to be a little more weary of a return of a military dictatorship. Analyst Sarah Altantawi says recent events in Egypt signal a bigger role for an army that's long been marred by allegations of abusing its power. This country has been under military dictatorship since 1952. Anyone during that period who tried to organize politically, democratically was jailed and, and stymied in one way or another. This is the same military rights groups blame for using excessive force in clashes this month that killed dozens of peaceful supporters of former President Morsi. It's the same military Egyptians protested against in 2011 for allegedly killing, arresting and beating innocent protesters, including the infamous thrashing of the woman in the blue bra. And Sisi is the same general who defended the army's use of virginity tests in 2011 on women detainees. They were done to protect girls from rape and soldiers from false accusations, he told state media. But for many Egyptians, the grievances are gone. The army is for the people, says Mahmoud. My brothers are part of it, so it will never harm us. People's livelihoods have really plummeted in the past year or two years. They want stability, and the only form of stability that several generations of Egyptians have had has been uh, in the form of the military. For now, like it or not, the military seems to be playing a central role in post-revolution Egypt, where establishing democracy is still the stated goal, but the path to getting there isn't always democratic. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Cairo.